I came out of hospital three years ago after surviving a three-week coma, after jumping off a railway bridge. And I decided I wanted to die. I had a relationship breakup. Uh, somebody broke my heart. And I literally, when you're in a coma, you, you know nothing. And I woke up in bed in hospital and thought, I'm alive. But I think I was actually really happy I was alive. <laughs> because I only realised then when friends and family came to see me how much I was loved. I'd felt very alone, I'd felt desperate. I've had depression six times in 25 years. And my dad asked me very quickly, what are you gonna do, son? Um, and I said to him, well, dad, I don't know. I used to be self-employed. I said, I can't do that for a bit. So <laughs> I'm gonna try and help the NHS with men's mental health. And that's what I've been doing for the last three years. Um, being involved, I'll be really honest, makes me frustrated a lot of the time because patience is not my strongest suit and I've worked for three years to try and improve things and although I've seen some change, it's incremental and it's tiny. This is like trying to push a glacier uphill because there are ingrained practices within mental health for years and years and years, because it's very hard to deal with every single person who has a completely unique set of circumstances, okay? It's not like the broken ankle. It doesn't heal in six weeks. Everyone's different. And the point is, for me, I had to do something because I wasn't prepared to waste the second half of my life. I'm 49 and I was so blessed to still be here. So for me, it's about, yes, trying to give something back, it's about purpose. If you've got the drive and the energy and it's your passion and you care, you can make a difference. Everybody can. You are going to get listened to more, but you're going to have to keep repeating yourself. I got hasty two years ago at eight weeks and I've had dogs all my life. I was raised on a small farm and he gives you a purpose every day. He gives you unconditional love, but my best friend said to me, within three weeks of getting him, you had changed so much. And dogs are incredible. They can sense when you're happy. They can sense when you're not. And when you're not, they'll come and cuddle you. He's amazing. And for my mental health, he's priceless. And as my sister constantly reminds me, and Winston Churchill said it, never ever give up. 